right, Justin. Well, surprise, surprise. This oh. is the car that was our favorite of the auto show, the uh, Audi TT RS. And completely unprompted, you know that. I yes. just, that was my choice to bring. And I get here and everyone was like, we even knew, hey, you, you knew we liked it. I, actually, I didn't. Well, I, I, I had no clue. I, I was comparing this car in the past and past versions of this car to the Acura NSX where it was a cool car but it just didn't have the punch that that we wanted like like it was we liked the design we liked yeah. everything about it a balance and everything but we just wanted a little more horsepower and now they have it in the version of what a uh, 2.5 five cylinder 2.5 five cylinder and you know this there's a lot of things happen I think with with this car is do you remember when the TT first came out it was a, a very glorified VW Beetle in a way it was a right. girly car in my opinion anyway it yeah, was a girly yeah. car and every time they come out with a new one it gets more butch right to the point that you would uh, this is a real man's car now but of course it's also the reintroduction of the RS brand right because the RS has been missing from the States for a long time so yeah and uh, I love the fact that it only comes in a six-speed manual and I love the shift knob I love the short throw I love the smell of the car. I love the stitching. I just, uh, I love the aluminum hat on the on rotor, the but the idea that the aluminum hat is a spider. Yeah. It's not even a hat that they figured out this aluminum hat isn't light enough. Let's make it into a bunch of fingers. It was just really a And cool then a very brave design on those wheels, just the red and the, yeah. and the black. And I think we should leave Adam some alone time with the yes. car. Wait, on Please. this particular car, uh, there's various, obviously, different color options, but this wheel is available from the factory with this paint scheme. I think only if the car is black. Maybe if it's black or maybe one other color, I'm not sure, but this is the way you can get it, which is kind of interesting, this, uh, this theme with the black and red. Yeah, I mean, Audi are probably doing the best job right now, aren't they, all around in, in terms of you know this is an oh, this has been around a while but what they've done yes. with this one with the wing with the little you know metal uprights there and i mean it's fast it's 4.1 uh, zero to 60 and i mean 360 horsepower i mean it's it's a proper car and when you drive it with that manual i've got a mini uh countryman we just got the other day which i love but it, you know it, but it's automatic um right. and first automatic i've ever owned uh like other than we're SUV. not judging and, we're not judging and Justin. uh but this you get back in it and you have to downshift again and you know if you can heel and toe it's yes, not doing it for you but so yeah you know does it blip the throttle for no, you no <laughs> i have to blip it i, I feel like, like a godlike creature again it's I, good you know uh, yes this car went from a, a chick to a full-blown diesel dike the rear spoiler it looks great and i don't know where you go from here because you got the all-wheel drive you have the six speed you have the 360 what, what 360 three? and 343 foot pounds of torque and uh, in a five cylinder, which is yeah. nuts. And, and you know, the automatic, yes, five cylinder. When, right. when I first saw that, I actually did a series of, uh, they're like videos in dealership videos and stuff on this at Monticello Racetrack, mm -hmm. which meant I, I had to hammer it for very, I never even did a full lap of the track. I had to hammer it for like one corner and then right. talk about it. And it was a bit, it was frustrating in that sense. But when they said five cylinder, I, the guy said five cylinders on my notes. I, I kind of didn't want to look like an asshole, so I went up to the, you know, the technical guy and said, "Are you sure? The, you know, have you got the numbers right here? Because yeah. it just, it just, it was felt so powerful. I mean, what they do now out of an engine like that is, I know, is amazing. Um, and it's interesting that they're getting back to it because Audi obviously had the Quattros back in the day. Yeah. Those were five-cylinder cars, and then they i guess got away from it and they've gotten to the v6s yeah. and then the v8s and i don't know what they've had with a five cylinder since the quattro am i, I i'm not a historian on audi but no. this is their is this their first move back into the turbo five am i, am I missing something I, I can't think of when they when they did it last and i don't even know how long this is going to last i think this is sort of uh, you know, this is their Hail Mary pass before the TT probably gets a redesign. It's yeah. a completely different car. So they just wanted to make it as crazy as they could. So the turbo five cylinder and the performance that you were talking about, zero to 60 and 4.1, they say on a short track, this is almost as quick as an R8. You know, the R8 will pull 
you know, right, just based right, on horsepower. Right, right, right. So I'm curious to see like how how you thought about it on the on the track. It's you know what you know what happens with all Quattro. Those rally drivers must have imagine them back in the 70s. The first guy that got in one, you know, traditionally rear wheel drive. You think to yourself, oh, I'm going to deal with this on the throttle. Mm -hmm. But in this Quattro, you know, you you just go straight off into the you know right. back in those days. It, Behave so differently. You can't on, steer it, with the, can't steer it with the throttle. Right. Um, on the racetrack now, these are so. I think it's literally 50-50 weight distribution, but it's so perfect. It fly by wire throttle and everything. You you feel like you can kind of pick the car up, you mm -hmm. know, mid corner and just set it on the right path, and then you hammer it. I mean, in in the wet, this Quattro stuff is still outrageous. Um, and we had one section we had to wet it down, and like I've joked before, the you know the the DP's like, so can you just get more sideways and stuff? And you're right. going, yeah. no. You can't. It's no, all it's wheel not drive. Gonna do it. And it's, it grabs. Yeah. I mean if I had a if I had a a, a young kid or, or whatever, I mean even the mini countryman we got, it was all wheel drive. Because you it's it's the safest thing out there. Yeah, you can't get it off the road. Brilliant. Uh, um although, you know, Lord we knows you try. can try. I mean, obviously, like a lot of these things, it's all about being, it's all about being under load, isn't it? You know? I mean, that's the thing. When you, when you actually under load as you accelerate, that's right. when the car comes alive. I mean, they're pretty clever with that. That's pretty. It is pretty. The use of carbon fiber, nice to plant them. And it's nice that they just haven't done that whole, you know how so many of them are covered by right. big engine cover, you can't see Big anything. engine cover. Yeah, it's that yeah. sort of Cadillac, just big trash can lid yeah. that goes uh, over the top of the thing. Yeah, well, so, uh, Justin, this is, uh, again, serendipity. You took the car that we like the best out of the uh, auto show. What are these things? Are they in the mid-50s or something like that? Yeah, it's, I, think, um, I think you told us it started at, like, 57 and change, but by the time you, you, know, you get it on your, you know, in your driveway, it's about 60,000. Well, I like the, you know, we were talking to the Lotus Aurora guys, or Vora, yeah, Avora. The, Avora yeah. guys, and, oh, yeah, the Aurora's an Oldsmobile. Yeah. <laughs> but they're I, nice I, guys, too. Yeah, they they yeah. are. Am yeah. I too old, or are there just too many cars now? Yeah. Like, it used yeah. to be, that's a Chevelle, that's an El Camino, yeah. let's go home. Yeah. Now it's like the, the S-T-I-S-F. S, you know, it's like there's too many companies and too many cars. I can't keep track of everything. But we're talking to the Lotus guys, and they had the Avora, and that's a cool car. But for the five grand cheaper, maybe ten yeah. grand cheaper, and another uh, 85, 90 horsepower, I think you might think and about one of these. Audi. Yes. You know, you know, this gets serviced at. Yeah, you know many locations. I mean, I, lo I love, I love the fact that car companies. It's not what we're talking about, but like Lotus are trying that, and people are trying that. You know, really quite clever things with with cars. But I, I'm equally as impressed that car manufacturers like Audi and, uh, you know, and Porsche with some of their stuff in Mercedes. They do really clever things with yeah. with their technology and. And I, mean, I love Audi. I always tell everyone about Audi, look, uh, you know, these guys were a joke. They were on the brink of, of disaster and bankruptcy in the early 90s, late 80s. No, no one would buy an Audi. The, the, no. the fit and finish was bad. The, the reliability was bad. Everything was a joke. And they just got their crap together. And they've been building some of the nicest cars really over the last five years yeah. consistently. They certainly get the blue ribbon for most improved because they really come a long way. They really, it's weird, but they get most improved and most valuable player, which is something, you know, normally most improves like the fat kid that worked on his technique a little, but he's not, yeah. he's not the head, he's not the guy scoring all the touchdowns or goals, sorry. But uh, this is most improved and most valuable player, the uh, Audi TT. Uh, like Justin it. Bell, uh, toss out the website, the shows where people can find well, you. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, um, justinbell.com. And also, it's eBay Motors forward slash world's fastest car show, or WFCS. And we're also on iTunes. We're mm -hmm. in the top 10 uh, downloads in Lifestyle right now, I think. And it's eBay Mobile. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know. Quick and on uh, YouTube anymore? No, Twitter. Yeah. Follow me. Hey, Justin's sure. also going to be um, doing some uh, doing some broadcast, some coverage from Barrett Jackson Scottsdale. Is that oh, right? Yeah, I forgot about it. one of my favorite weeks. What a way to start oh, the yeah. year! Watching other people 
spunk yeah. millions yeah. of dollars. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, well, and Barrett Jackson is just so much fun. Move over, Alan DeCadney. There's yeah. a new British sheriff in town. Yeah. His name is Justin Bell. Thanks for joining us, Justin. Thank you. I had a great time. It. Thank My you. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks, thanks.